Kurt Warner is joining us, Hall of Famer. By the way, you can follow him at Kurt Thirteen Warner, uh, Kurt One Three Warner on uh, Twitter. Uh, you are no stranger. In fact, you might be the biggest underdog story of all time. So much so that they made it. They made a movie, American Underdog. So you know the the, the Brock Purdy type of a situation. Having said that, though, Mister Irrelevant coming in and playing like this, how big of a story is this to you? I mean, it's a it's a great story, and you know, I mean, for first of all, I'm a guy that that loves good quarterback play, and I love all the stories that come with it because. You know, we live in such a world where so many people fall in love with the tangible stuff. And we talk so much about you know, how far guys can throw it and the wild plays that they make. And I continue to sit back every week and say, you know, that stuff's great. But the guys that know how to play the position, whether they can do that or not, are the guys that are successful every week in our business. They're the guys that give their team a chance every week in our business. And You know, people get so hung up with the other stuff that they lose sight of what it means to play quarterback. And that, to me, is what Brock's doing right now. He's playing quarterback. Um, You know, he's not necessarily having to make a bunch of wild throws, and that might not even be in his repertoire. That's okay. Um, You know, you can be special without making these unique special throws. You can be special by processing information and getting the ball out on time and getting it to the right guy and doing what the offense asks you to do Um, And that's exactly what he's doing. And so I'm very impressed with the way he's handled himself, the way he's processed information, Um, you know, that that he's elusive enough that he's made a number of plays, you know, just kind of buying a little extra time and being smart with the football. So, you know, we all know he's got a good football team, so he's found himself in a great situation. Um, But to me, you know, they're not winning, you know, in spite of him. They're winning, you know, with him or with him being a part of, of making plays for them. So I've been very, very impressed with what he's done. But I'll also say that I followed him a little bit. You know, he's a kid from from Arizona. And so I live here in Arizona. Uh, He played in Iowa. Uh, I grew up in Iowa. So I followed him a lot at Iowa State and watched him a lot. My son played at Kansas State. Um, So they played the last couple years. So just been following him for a long time and watched him play, um, knew the kind of player that he was. And, you know, so with that, I'm not – You know, I'm not dumbfounded that he's out there playing good football with as much as he's played in college. And the way he played in college, he's just transferring that into the system there in San Francisco. I I remember seeing you in Santa Clara for a 49ers training camp. You were doing uh, inside training camp live. And that was a day when when Trey Lance, frankly, was struggling. Uh, So a lot of the attention was on him. But a lot of us, you know, close to the team were following Brock. Because he was doing so well. Do, do, what do you remember about seeing Brock Purdy? And back then he was wearing number 14, not number 13, uh, in, back in, in uh, training camp, Kurt. You know, that was really their first day of camp. And so, uh, you know, I was watching Brock a little bit, um, you know, at that point. And, you know, I, I, there were some struggles that day, I think, for the entire offense, which uh, is to be expected early in camp going against that defense that has been together and, and you know what they bring to the table. Um, so yeah, so I didn't get to see a whole lot and it wasn't, you know, well into camp where he had gotten an opportunity to, to really, you know, get into things. But, um, but again, I mean, what I'm seeing on the field is kind of what I expect, uh, based on what I knew of, of Brock and that's, you know, to, to see things, to process and to make the throws that are there. I think maybe the, the most impressive thing that I've seen is the way he's handled pressure and not, you know, the overall pressure of being a starter, but you know, pressure situations as as teams have blitzed him. um, You know, sometimes I I wonder about San Francisco system in in terms of giving their quarterback opportunities when teams pressure them. Um, You know, sometimes it's kind of like, well, you got to, you got to beat that with a throw. And that's a tough place to play sometimes as a quarterback to just try to figure out what throw you can make to beat the guy that's coming free at you. But I think he's done a really good job of, of recognizing some of that understanding where his throws are and, and getting the ball out. So I, I just, again, he's playing the position really, really well in so many facets, even if he doesn't wow you, uh, you know, with what he's doing with his arm or the way that he's running around and making these, you know, crazy plays. He's just playing really, really well. And you couple that with a really good football team. And that's why they've, you know, won 11 straight. 